everyone, welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is Mr. Pradyut Dev Barman, the royal son of Tripura, former Congress president, and of course now best identified as a social and political activist. Mr. Pradyut Dev Barman, once again, welcome to Talk Time. Thank you for having me, Vasbi. You were the Congress president until recently. You bid adieu mm -hmm. to the Congress party. You have been extremely critical of the BJP, that's the ruling dispensation, both in Tripura as well as the center. Can we say that you know you have, may have bid adieu to the Congress Party, but you have not bid adieu to politics? No, uh, I have not bid adieu to my independent thinking. I mean, why should in this country everyone take sides for only two people or two parties? Everything is not black and white. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, if you see a lot of our problems here today, uh, the rest of India does not understand our problems in the Northeast because the entire narrative is are you with us or are you with them? The entire narrative is nationalist versus anti-national. And I think that uh, 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 I have been critical of uh, the way the BJP has handled a lot of issues and I am very critical of the way Congress has handled a lot of issues for the last 70 years. Mm -hmm. And I am a young man and I have an independent point of view and I think that every young individual should have an independent point of view. See, people like us, we have been forced to now describe you, forced to identify you as a political and social activist mm -hmm. uh, because everybody thought that when you left the Congress mm -hmm. that you are either going to join the BJP mm -hmm. or you are going to form your own political party. Mm -hmm. So far at least, mm -hmm. neither of the two has happened. Mm -hmm. So what is the road ahead for you? The road Can you enlighten really? See, why should anyone, first of all let me clarify, why should anyone leave the Congress and join the BJP? I mean, if you are doing it for a political uh, goal, Mm -hmm. to get a post, I already had that post in the Congress. But a lot of people have done that. No, I had, I was a, pre see, a lot of people have done it after they were, le uh, after they were, they had to leave the post of a president or they had to leave a post of a minister mm -hmm. and then they go ahead or they didn't get what they wanted, then they go and join another party. I was a sitting president and I by far, and I'm sorry to say this through my own words, but by far the most successful Congress president mm -hmm. in the last uh, 25 years with the Lok Sabha re result. I left because I had an ideological point of difference with the Congress party and I could not accept the functioning of my general secretary, Mr. Luisinho Filero. It was simple as that. Right. But but you said you, you are of course one of the young political leaders that the Northeast, you are extremely vocal. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have anything to prove at this point in time about your leadership qualities. Mm -hmm. Moreover, you come from a huge, you, you have a background. Uh, your your father was the Maharaja of Tripura. You are today the Maharaja, uh, although it's, it's, a, it's, it's a titula, but people respect you for that. Uh, you are the royal sign. Now my question is, uh, you know, are you going to stay like this? Uh, you have of course formed the Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance. Mm -hmm. That is a non-political body, uh, Tipra. Uh, you know, but what is the road ahead for you? The road uh, ahead you, you, of course, you are a young man and of course electoral politics is something very important to do, uh, to translate your thoughts into action. What has 70 years given us, the indigenous people of uh, Tripura in the last 70 years, through electoral politics, what have we gained? In the last 70 years, we have voted, the highest voting turnout in the entire country is Tripura, 90%, 91%. We indigenous people go out and vote. What have we got in the last 70 years? No, but what is the alternative to electoral he politics? Hear me out. What have we got? We have got poor leaders, we have got poor quality of MLAs. My father was a member of parliament, I am very sorry to say, a lot of uh, entitled silver spoon boys don't want to criticize their own uh, uh, mistakes of their uh, parents. I'll say my father should have done more, my mother should have done more, but maybe the times were such that they were compelled to go in a certain way. I don't feel any uh, such, uh, 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 nothing to bind me, because I've seen in 70 years, our land has been slowly taken away, our culture has been slowly taken away, our language, our identity has been taken away, and we have kept on electing our own people at par. It's happening in Assam, it's happened in uh, Meghalaya, it's happening in Arunachal. So who are we blaming? We are blaming a system which has thrown up repeatedly poor leaders and we have also 
uh, created a system mm -hmm. which has actually not given us anything in 70 years. True. At least for Tripura. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Assam has benefited with your democracy and your democratic movement. But in Tripura, we need we are not against democracy, but we are against yeah. the way yeah. the it has been created to allow settlers to come in. See, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's talk straight to the point. Huh. 25 years it was the left parties, it was the left front government that ruled mm. Tripura. Mm. But... Pradut De Burman has not been as critical of the left as it has been of the BJP. Should have been. I should have been. I should have. You, been you admit that you I, are not so critical of no, the left. No, I should have been critical of Congress. I should have been critical of the left. So today, mm. can you set the record straight? Was it a mistake for you to be with the Congress for so long? I think it was a mistake for me to be with any of the three political parties. In uh, I should have been always a regional uh, point of view. I think it was a mistake that my father was with the Congress. I think it was a mistake that my mother was with the Congress. I think and it, it was, was a mistake that Pradut De Burman, that means you were with the Congress. Absolutely. Abs and why can't we say that we were wrong? Because we should have always spoken first for our people and that for New Delhi. Because the problem of Tripura or the problem of Northeast or Assam or Nagaland, Meghalaya is regional. And so, why are we talking about... See, I'll tell you. When I was a Congress president, I was told to organize... Uh, birth ceremonies of Lal Bahadur Shastri. I respect. He's a former chief minister, a prime minister. Former prime minister. A great man. We respect him. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. But then, if we have a local pro uh, event issue, huh? issue, we are not told to do it. So the fact is that our, our narrative was too Delhi centric, and that's why I am telling you, the Congress Party or the BJP may be here in theory, but in 70 years, I don't think we have actually won over the hearts of the people of the region. I was in charge of Sikkim. I did not see any sense of India in Sikkim. Sikkim felt betrayed. When I go and see these movement against CAA, I see people feeling upset. They feel betrayed. Either ways, they feel let down. Bodo's for a long time felt let down. Khasi's, Garu's, Jayantia's, Arunachali's feel let down. We Tiprasas feel let down. So that there has been a failure of a political process. And you cannot tell everyone, oh, no, no, you have to go back and vote again. We've been voting for 70 years. We've been throwing out poor leaders. So we have to decide, what, why is the system not helping us? Is mm -hmm. the system being created? Why, why is, uh, uh, why is uh, uh, New Delhi complaining? Why are metros complaining? Why are we saying that UP Bihar se sub MPs bante hai? Why is the entire concentration no, of no, this no, entire no, election? No, 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 no. All this, democracy all this in, is fine. All democracy this is fine. in India no, Pradu, is lopsided towards majority keep, community. All, all this is fine. All this is fine. Mm. Whatever, uh, whatever you are saying, there's a lot of weight in that. Mm. My point is, you know, how does one translate? How does one fight the system? You are saying that you should not have been in either of the political yes. parties. And I'll now tell you how we'll fight and, the and you, you have today publicly for the first time so categorically said that no, it was no, a mistake for you. It, you it was a my mistake. Speeches. No, no. Yeah. It was a mistake uh, yeah. for you to have been with the Congress party. Now, my question is, what now? A lot of people will ask you, what now? You'll see. I will uh, tell Wasbir Hussain. No, don't be uh, diplomatic. Please uh, no, no, say, no, no, please I'm not say, saying. Don't be diplomatic. Please I'm, say I'm not what is the road I'm, ahead. You see, when we create a entire regional identity mm -hmm. and we tell the national parties, you better take our line or you will not have it so easy. We need to create a young generation of leaders who will not go to Delhi okay, okay, let and me sell themselves up. Let me ask you a question. Uh, your organization that you floated, the mm. Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance, TIPRA, mm. in short, this is a very interesting uh, name mm. for your organization. How do you describe it today? I describe it as a social, political, cultural uh, movement. So this, when is this socio-political, cultural movement mm -hmm. getting transformed into a full-fledged political movement to put across your point of view and test it on the ground through the ballot. For the time being, we are going to pressurize all the regional parties to come together and to have a single narrative which connects with the aspirations of the people of my state. If the regional parties cannot come together, then we will consider an alternative. But right now, our aim is not to become a political party. Our aim is right now to be a pressure group to put all the political parties, regional political parties, right thinking people from our community in national parties to come under and create a singular narrative Absolutely. which is which actually connects with the aspirations and the frustrations of our people. 
uh, very interesting comments there by Mr. Pradut Debarman where he has categorically said perhaps for the first time that it was a mistake on his part to have been with the Congress party for so long and not criticizing the left in Tripura as strongly as he should perhaps have. On that note, I go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with the Royal Scion and social and political activist Pradut Debarman. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm in conversation with Mr. Pradut Debarman, former Congress President of Tripura, Royal Scion, and currently a social and political activist, very, very vocal on issues, not just concerning Tripura, but across the nation. Uh, Pradut Debarman, uh, you are in the news for a variety of reasons. You have made a very significant comment that all Bengalis are not Bangladeshis. You I said agree. all Muslims are not Pakistanis, mm -hmm. and all Hindus are not necessarily Indians. Yes. So, what makes you say such kind of uh, people will say these are also rhetorics? This is this this is this is the reality. What is new in that? What you have said? So, the people from Nepal are Hindus. Are they part of India? The people of uh, Sri Lanka, the Tamil Hindus, are they part of India? There are a lot of uh, Hindus in Malaysia. Or there are a lot of Hindus in uh, Indonesia. What made you so, say that? No, so, my this, point, this my, my my point is the first two point. Yeah. The first point is that amongst our community also we tend to uh, there are few uh, fools from our own community who say, oh, you're a Bengali, you're a Bangladeshi. That's incorrect. Not every Bengali is a Bangladeshi. Mm -hmm. There are Bengalis who have been here for centuries. There are Bengalis who have contributed a lot to not only Tripura, but the whole of Northeast. And they should not be termed as Bangladeshis. Second, there is another group of people who are the newborn Tika Lagakar uh, Bhakts who look at every Muslim they may be Asmi speaking Muslim, they may be Purana uh, Muslims, they may be Muslims who have contributed a lot to our part of the world. And they say, oh, you are a Pakistani. Again, it is a tragedy that we look at one community which has contributed so much to our region and we told, call them Pakistanis. Right. So if, it's, uh, and, and that's why I'm saying that uh, not all uh, Muslims are Pakistanis. Okay. Now, let me bring you back to Tripura. Now, the issue is migration. You have fought a case in the Supreme Court. You have filed a case on, on the NRC issue. And now, now we have the Citizenship Amendment Act. That's my you case. You have there. challenged that yeah. as well. Now, the question is, okay, fine. My, uh, Tripura, the demography has changed over the years from a tribal majority to a tribal minority state. Uh, that is a stated position. You can't blame the BJP for that. Uh, you can't blame one political party for that. It was the left party. And all of these people are basically had ruled Tripura, whether it is the Congress, whether it is the left front, whether tribal political parties, two were also alliance partners. Mm -hmm. Different political parties at different points in time. Now, who do you hold responsible for this state of affairs largely? Government of India. Is the government of India a BJP government or a Congress government? The government of India has failed us. The government of India has to answer why Tripura has suffered so much. The government of India has to answer. So now, over, over the last couple you of months... You got my point. The, the Prime Minister is not the BJP Prime Minister. <coughs> the Prime Minister is not a Congress Prime Minister or a Janta Dal Prime Minister. I get your point. I get your point. You are saying that the government of India is responsible for the state of affairs. Yes. Uh, for the entire demography and, having and been And if they can apologize, if the government of India... If the if respective leaders who were prime ministers, I remember Manmohan Singh apologizing for the Sikh riots. I remember P V Narasimha Rao apologizing for the Babri Masjid. Then they should apologize to the indigenous people of Tripura. Saying what? That they have made a mistake and they'll do corre course correction. So what is the course correction? How, no. So no, how, what is the course correction well, possible? My, my, See, my, tribals my, have already my been point reduced is, to a minority. My point is, I come to your house and I give you a whacking, and then later I say, oh, but you know what? We have been doing it for 60 years now. Let's accept the situation. Let the government say what is in store for us. Let the okay. government on record say right. that they've been unfair to the people of Tripura. Right. Le let's make this conversation a little more meaningful. Hmm. Uh, what is the road ahead now? What is the course correction the road, that can be done now? The road ahead is that how long did it take uh, for uh, justice to be met? I don't believe that elections will only give us justice. Uh, BJP goes uh, all over the place saying that Ram Janma Bhumi Hua. The Supreme Court gave it to us. So we expect the Supreme Court now to give us justice and the Supreme Court should not uh, look at party. What are the scenarios that can happen? So if Suppose you get a favorable judgment from the court. Yeah. Now what, what, what can happen? You ensure that we get a land back. You ensure that the people who have come to Tripura illegally should be distributed across the country. Why should one state take two times its population? Why should one state take two times its own population? And why should one state suffer so much? 
uh, give us our language. Our own Hindu gods and goddesses have been kept in one side of a temple and another god and goddess is kept. Why should this happen to us in a so-called uh, BJP says Hindu Rashtra? So we want our history back, we want our culture back, we want our identity back and we also want an acknowledgement of the government of India that they made a mistake and they are going to cause correct us. Give us something. We are not asking. We are Indians. We love our country. Please treat us fairly. Now, 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 you see, that, 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 is, that is what you, you are basically saying. But when we talk about course, course correction, mm. uh, do you, are you saying today that migration is still happening? Absolutely. Uh, are, are Bangladeshis illegally coming into Absolutely. Tripura? You, you have released a video recently. No, no, no. You know, I'll, I'll tell you something more interesting. Was me. Three days ago, sitting MLA in the ruling government, IPFT MLA from Simna, Brishuketu De Barma, caught six Bangladeshis from, uh, from crossing over in his own constituency, made a video about it and released it all over the media. Okay. This is the acknowledgement by a MLA who is in the present government. And six Bangladeshis. Three days ago, you are talking about three around, days around, around the 15th of February. Yes. Around the 14th, 15th of yeah. February you are yeah. talking about. Okay. So, so if this, uh, that's your Valentine's Day gift to us. So if this, and this is how, this is 20, 25 kilometers from Agartala this is happening. So, What's happening? I mean, uh, should we uh, allow this? I mean, should we just allow but people to just come? And yeah. Tripura was a historical kingdom which survived for 1300 years. We went, we became a part of India, and in 70 years, we have come down from 90% to 20-25%. Uh, so, what is it saying? What does it talk about India? That India cannot protect its own citizens? No. Again, again, I'm coming back to this question because it's very interesting. Uh, who do you blame most uh, for this state of affairs? Was it during the left front government? Was it during the Congress government? Or because you were as recently I as think, you were with the I Congress. I think the same people who are in the left front, who are in the Congress, are today with the BJP. There is no... You can bring in the DMK in Tripura and the indigenous people of Tripura will suffer the same way. There is no uh, political ideology. It is very clear that people have been coming over and the administration has been taken so over. So are you then now with your organization, the Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance, uh, you have been extremely vocal, you have been visiting the nook and corner of the mm. state, particularly the tribal areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, can we say that you are trying to mobilize, make the tribals aware of their rights? What are you engaged I'm in? I'm trying it? to tell the tribals, we, are, we like to call ourselves indigenous, I'm trying to tell our people that, you know what, I think uh, there is something seriously wrong in our political system that we have been voting non-stop. We have been voting at 90% and states which vote for 30-40% are given protection by the government of India as recently as CAA. But states where there is large political consciousness like what you are saying, Assam, your state of Assam, no. people vote but the government of India does not protect you. But states which don't vote as much, are given protection. But but the counter argument to, to that will be hmm. that there is autonomous uh, you know councils have been given autonomous to the people in Autonomous Tripura? council is in Mizoram, autonomous council is in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Manipur, autonomous council is in Assam? Uh, uh, no, I, I'm talking about the states which have been exempted. Mm -hmm. Mizoram, Meghalaya and uh, uh, what do you call uh, 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 and Manipur. Why have they been exempted and why has Assam and Tripura, which has autonomous councils, but non-areas have been uh, not exempted. Government of India, if they want to have a one-to-one -one debate, see the problem is, we only go to Delhi and say, sir, 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 let them have a one-to-one -one with me, I'll tell They have so much of holes in the argument. You say that, oh, you have autonomous district council, so we have exe exempted autonomous district council. Manipur has autonomous district council, you've given the entire, you've exempted yeah. the entire state. Mizoram has it, Meghalaya has it. Then. Why has Assam and Tripura then been kept out of it? So, so what will be your case then? My case is that you should ask these same questions which you have asked me to a responsible government of India minister and tell them to say why have uh, why what is your entire policy about CAA? What is your entire but, policy? But 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 the point is hmm. when you are pushing this case of the indigenous people. When it is, if the there, government, if there's the a broad picture tomorrow, the government of India, the, the government of India no, should question, invite us. True, 
should in, should not only be talking to uh, underground groups, should not only be talking to uh, 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 Maoists, should also be talking to people who are protesting peacefully, whether it is a Sip Sagar, whether it is Jorhat, whether it is Tripura, so you, and so, talk to us. So you want to have a face-to-face -face dialogue Absolutely. with the government of India, we are waiting for an invitation okay. to discuss the issue of the indigenous people yes. in Tripura and how to have a course correction. Is that what you want to basically discuss? Absolutely. And we are waiting. It's been uh, uh, so, since Christmas we have been so, waiting. So are you also expecting upgradation of the autonomy that you currently enjoy? I'm not expecting anything. I'm expecting them to listen to us and we have a few ideas. Let them listen to ideas. Okay. We are, we are, again, let me say what we are. Yeah. I have full sympathy towards my Bengali brothers and sisters. I think we'll they've been very we, badly we, treated. We, we, we'll, we'll expand on yeah. that. We'll but, expand on but, your this, but this responsibility has to be shared equally. Absolutely. One state cannot take it. Absolutely. We'll expand on that, Pradip Debarman. On that note, go for another short break. Stay on, don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with the Royal Sign of Tripura and a strong voice from the state Pradut Debarman. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Mr. Pradut de Burman. Uh, Mr. Pradut de Burman, you said that you know your Bengali brothers and sisters are also equally affected. My question is slightly different. Mm. Uh, suppose tomorrow you have to become a real political voice. You are already one. Suppose you want to translate your voice into action, do something for Tripura, you have to win an election, you have to form a political party, but you cannot win with enough seats only. Let's be, let's be blunt with only the votes of the indigenous people. You need the vote of the large section of people in the state, which includes the vast majority today are the Bengali speaking people in Tripura. Now the question is, won't you, are you not worried about that fact? Uh, how will I be a leader of representing the entire people of Tripura today if I'm only pushing the interest of the indigenous people? Uh, this is a genuine question. And, and I'm sure you, you have an answer to that. And what is it? Why don't you ask the same question? to a Prime Minister who does not take uh, the Muslims along, who do not take the indigenous people along, who is only taking... No, let, let, let's nah. contextualize it in Tripura. Uh, nah. let's not okay, so you want to come to Tripura? Yeah, let, ha, let's, let's. Why do you assume that uh, if I do stand for election, which is unlikely in the near future, why do you expect that the Bengalis will not support me? Why do you think that the Manipuris, Maitais, why do you think the Gorkhas mm -hmm. will not support us? Do you think that population... No, I've never said that. Huh? I said, so, what so will be the, the, what will be the vote dynamics? Why should I... No, why, why should you change your view or your people's uh, view because Just you keeping want to... votes in mind. For, ...to win an election. That's what's happened in 70 years, na? Just to win elections, you've imported vote bank from any community. One time, one party did it to bring in from one community. Now, another party is doing to bring in from another community. In, the, in between, genuine Indians, Hindu, Muslims, Buddhists... <coughs> Christians are suffering. So, first, why should I change my narrative? I have my point of view. I am zero. I'll remain zero. What else do I have to lose? But to dilute my ideology and my agenda, to Which win you, an, you, you, to you, win you, one or two seats, and then, so, then be castigated yeah. for the rest of my life. Right. No, no, now, now, another issue that mm. you have been extremely passionate about has been your, you have lobbied very, very hard for the bruise. Mm -hmm. to stay on in Tripura yes. and that has been accepted by the government of India and today 30,000, 35,000 35, groups roughly uh, are going to stay on in Tripura. Mm -hmm. Now, what is, uh, you know, why have you been so passionate? Uh, is it humanitarian grounds alone? Is it, the, is it the humanitarian angle alone or what are some of the factors that has uh, made you so passionate about this issue. Of course, this is an extremely huge humanitarian issue and there was serious concern when the centre uh, stopped rations and supply to them. That's, uh, that's one point. But uh, what was some of the driving force for you? First of all, uh, let's be very clear. People may not be aware, the Brews are indigenous people of Tripura. They've always been at the wrong end of the stick. Uh, whenever there was uh, a communal riot, the most uh, uh, affected people were the Bruce because the anger was taken out on them. In 1974, Dumbur Dam was made. La uh, thousands and thousands of families right. of Bruce, Noatias and Jamatias and Bengalis were uh, dislocated. They were thrown out. They were not given rehabilitation. That dam was created only 2 megawatts and it has been decommissioned. But these people never got rehabilitation. Many of them who are Jumias went away to Mizoram. When your own community 
is kept in camps which are called refugee by the media. There is no refugee camp for internally displaced people. They are our own Indians. We have been kept in refugee camps with 600 grams of rice and 5 rupees a day. Or 1 rupee 50 paisa rupee a day for 23 years. Then you do feel that there is, there has to, you have to stand up for your people. I think, I think it is unthinkable that why we didn't stand up for it earlier. So I took it as a personal mission and I thank. We have to thank mm -hmm. the government, I'll thank. I mean, Amit Shah ji, the BJP state government had a different view, but I went and met Amit Shah and I told Amit Shah that please help our people. You are accepting lakhs and lakhs of people from Bangladesh. These are my own brothers and sisters. You have to keep them and we will look after them. And he was gracious enough. He was thoughtful enough and he did it. And where he's done a good job. See, I'll, let, me, let me tell you one thing, Vazbir. I am very fond of Rahul Gandhi. I think he's a great chap. He's an honest man. Mm -hmm. And same way, I will praise him where I have to praise him. But, but, I will but Rahul I will Gandhi didn't listen to you when he should have so listened to you so when you were in greatest need at that point. Of time. What was the great need? You, 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 to resolve that fight you had with uh, your general secretary. No, his mother was there. No? You should ask his mother that. Rahul Gandhi is a good guy. I'm telling you this. I have mm -hmm. friends across political parties. So you were saying Rahul Gandhi, I, is a good guy. You, Rahul Gandhi is a good guy, Sonia Gandhi is not. Is that what you were saying? No, I think Rahul Gandhi should... I mean, he was the president. He should have carried on. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, sh he was a president. He shouldn't have left because the Young Turk, all his team, whether it was me, Sachin, uh, Milan, uh, Jyotir Aditya, Pradyut Bartholoy, mm -hmm. I think these were uh, his team, uh, uh, Sushmita, these are his team. He should have uh, but, 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 fought but, for us. But a lot of people think and uh, any, uh, that he doesn't allow all these people whom you name mm -hmm. to come anywhere to uh, hog the limelight. Well, then that's why I think uh, if... I don't think it's him, but I think he's a... Uh, the coterie really, around him? I don't think it's him and his coterie. I think it is the old guard. The old guard is not uh, under his... So, so today, uh, Pradhid De Burman, you were the Congress president until recently. Well, Sorry, uh, I'm, well, not going, well. I'm not going back to the other uh, issues now because uh, you have made a very interesting point there. You see, and I'm, I'm running I'm short of say, time. No, is, is it the old guard... All. No, no, is it the old guard in the Congress who is, which is responsible today for the absolute decimation of the party? Yes. Absolutely. And the young guard is too entitled. Uh, you know uh, that includes that that starting no, from Rahul Gandhi. No, I'll tell you the young guard. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe I'm I'm not disagreeing with that. People who are born, see, they say you are born with a silver spoon because I'm the son of a Maharaja, last Maharaja, whatever. I'm not born with a silver spoon. My silver spoon was taken away. These people are born with a silver spoon, and they need to get out of their comfort zone. Our region, you cannot put a person from Goa and tell him that oh, this is the you have to control Northeast. It doesn't work like that. And finally, let me tell you, I have friends, Aditya Thakri is my friend, Hemantada is my friend, Pradyut Bardola is my friend, Rahul Gandhi is my friend, Amit Shah has spoken to us. I have friends everywhere. People who will help me, I will talk to them. People mm -hmm. who will not help me, I will oppose them. So who are the people, uh, let, uh, please don't be, this is my last question. No, I'm not being, no, I no, think no, I've been the which most is, uh, no, no, undiplomatic. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not speaking like a politician, that's why you're finding it awkward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when is this, when are you forming a political party? I'm once again closing with this question and who are the people, uh, are you have also, your friends in all the political parties? Yes. If you form a political party, it will be a regional political party, obviously. Uh, and then who are some of the people? Do you think there will be people from existing parties will also come and join because they believe in you and your ideas Let the state. Charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is willing to join my movement right now, they are most welcome. Mm -hmm. Anyone Are people so, has, uh, has oh, some people uh, huge, joined? Prominent people, political leaders or former political leaders? I am not taking leaders? any politicians right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I take any uh, politicians, then it will, it will become another same... Uh, so you don't rule out the fact that this movement can become a political movement when I, the time comes? When the time comes? I don't rule out the fact that the youth of this North uh, of Tripura will take control of the destiny of our state. Because we do not want New Delhi, whoever is sitting in New Delhi, to control us anymore. Absolutely. Pradut Debarman, thank you very much for this very, very thank candid you. conversation with me. As always, extremely refreshing. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.